Okay, you guys, this is going to be part two. Um, it said the, the battery volume, you guys. So if you're coming on from part one, thank you so much. I'm just going to close out. But going back to what we was talking about, God is saying get back to the natural, get back to the, the blessings of what he blessed us with in this earth, you guys. Okay, so we're going to read Genesis 10 through 31. If this thing cut off, I hope it don't. But if it do, I'm going to just leave the rest of scriptures below. So um, and God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he sees, and God saw that it was good. I just want to go back up a few verses. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And that's a word for somebody. What God has for you to bear is for you to bear. What God has for you to produce and birth forth is specifically what he put in you for a reason, for his glory. Okay, so back to verse 13, reading on, in the evening and the morning were the third day. So creation of the sun, moon, and stars is verses 14 through 19. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament. Okay, we'll do it again right here. Firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and god made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also and god set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and god saw that it was good in the evening and the morning were the fourth day i'm so sorry guys they're doing something with building i just have to continue on with this build with this um video amen in the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Okay, now creation of fish, fowl, beasts, and cattle is verses 20 through 25. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great wells and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind and God saw that it was God believe like a fowl is like a bird if I'm not mistaken or somewhere in that, that family okay and God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply in the earth in the evening and the morning were the fifth day and God said let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind cattle and creeping thing and beasts of the earth after his kind and it was so and God made the beasts of the earth after his kind and cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and God saw that it was good and before we get into um, the provision for food and creation of man in the image of God like these last few verses you know that scripture this has been coming to me to my mind for years you know that scripture that talks about um, to God a thousand years is like a day and a day is like a thousand years but like how he created you know the the creation and the different creations and different things and like it was in six days and then on the seventh day he rested I be wondering about that because like there's no time. I don't be wondering about that. That is what it is. But I be wondering like, like the calendar, like that's why it's so important to know where we are biblically and like on God's calendar, like spiritually and physically. But I be thinking about that because I feel like it correlate like if a thousand, uh, like if a thousand days or years, it's like one, if a thousand years, is like one day to God, because he's in eternity, right? We dwell in time. He don't dwell in time. But I be thinking about that, you guys. Like, do we, anybody else be thinking like that, like about that? Okay, so creation of man in the image of God. And God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God, this was a point he were like really wanted you guys to get who this message was for and like we were talking about in part one. So God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth Okay, provision for food, 29 through 31. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree 
and the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life i have given every green earth for meat and it was so 31 and god saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day and of course we know like he rested you know on the um on the seventh day got into his work which he made and he rested on the seventh day from all the work he made and god blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because at in he had rested from all his work which god created in may and then they talk about thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them verses what one through three talking about going into um two and everything how the um the first sabbath the manner of the creation we not from the read this but the garden of eden and god creates woman as a helper for the men and things like that so we're going to go to psalms 139 and then the other scripture was um chapter 12 chapter 12 of um corinthians first corinthians 12 Okay, so Psalms 139 is talking about David praises God for his all seeing providence. It says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts from my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue.